Anyone remember this? The little professor from Texas Instruments? Just picked this up at uh, Kaleidoscope Antiques in Monrovia yesterday. This isn't really a calculator per se, but more like a math drill instructor. See on the side here you have four levels of difficulty. Um, obviously the first is the easiest, all the way to the fourth level. You have four test modes, plus, minus, multiplication, and division. So I'm going to give a short little demonstration. I'm going to set the little professor on the fourth level, uh, set it to addition, and all I have to do is press the go button, and the little professor is going to give me a math problem. In this case, 59 plus 55, and I try to type in the right answer. I'm going to show you what happens if I type in a wrong answer. So, so as I start to enter the wrong number, I was going to guess 100. See, the professor just shows tr three E's, three error uh, indicators, telling me that I got the problem wrong. So now I'm going to, let's say I didn't know the answer to this, so I'm going to say 150. After three tries, the little professor gives you the correct answer. So in this case, 59 plus 55 obviously is 114. 74 plus 70, we, both, we all know it's, it's 144. If you enter the correct answer, the little professor is just going to the next problem. Here we got 66 plus 10. I'm going to enter 76. Um, the professor uh, likes that answer, it's correct, so the next problem is 67 plus 43, which is 110. And the next one would be 28 plus 66. And the answer is 94, so the next problem is 10 plus 6, 16, and it goes on. Here I got 18 plus 66 which is 84 and then I got 94 plus 14 enter 198 then you got 48 plus 79 you can think of it as 48 plus 80 minus 1 after 10 problems I get a score in this case, I got 9 out of the 10 additional problems right because I, on purpose, answered the first one wrong just to show you. And that's all there is to it about the little professor from Texas Instruments. So this is the little professor from Texas Instruments. This calculator brings back childhood memories. I used to have one as a kid. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can visit my blog at edspie31415.blogspot.com. Take care.